Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today we are hopefully going to make a couple of things. We shall see how it goes <laughs> time-wise. So I did make a couple of um, prototypes. So what we're going to make is these kind of shabby messy bows here. So this one right here is actually made out of strips of that satin or silky or whatever it is material that's on wedding dresses um i did save all of that and i like all this fray here although that may be a bit much um but yeah so i had some strips of it so i just pulled some out and made some flowers uh or some bows i'm sorry some bows these are bows not flowers um that could be used in our projects so that is that so here is some more different sizes still need to you know kind of work with them but i'm good with them not being perfect because that's certainly not what i'm going for i do want them you know pretty pretty shabby chic and messy bows so there's like three more of those that just need some bling and then i have this muslin it is a real thin muslin um, and I just sat here and made one bow out of it. It just needs some bling. So we'll bling those up. So I'm probably only going only going to show you one. Because uh, yeah, this is kind of probably going to be hard for me to get it in camera. Um, and these are uh, chopstick bows. So I had some chopsticks in the drawer in the kitchen. And I just wrapped a rubber band around it to hold it together got my strips of muslin um like i said we'll probably just do the one and then bling those up because i also want to try my hand at um a flower which i did not make a prototype of so this should be very interested if we get to it so yeah there's just some strips i will definitely do some more off the of camera um so yeah so you need strips of fabric or whatever it is you want to use chopsticks unless you have another way of doing it and i'm just using embroidery thread i think this is like six strands um yeah just in like a cream color um so what you do is you get your fabric and you put it i'm going to slide up because i have to hold this end of the chopstick guys up against my big old belly it is a huge help you know um, and you're just going to pull it down and then just keep pulling it. Uh, you want to be about in the center. Of course, it really doesn't matter because you will see why in a minute I will have to adjust that. Um, so that's all you want to do right there. So hopefully that was on camera and you guys saw that okay. So I probably should have got my string ready. So you're just going to need a string or something to tie it with. And the way I do it is just sit it up under there and go ahead and get the knot started as close to the chopstick as I can get it and we're still going to end up having to move it over um, some more to the right because of course that is not going to be in the center and I'm sure there's much better ways at doing this. So, you know, I just get that started there. And then I'm going to pull my chopstick off. Now, see, right there, it kind of looks like a dress. It could be a dress. Um, but, yeah, so we need to actually move this over more toward the center. So we are going to try to do that. So let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, I do need that kind of like that. More toward the top. And then just I just pull it tight. And I know this is bad showing you guys how to do this. But that's why I don't do tutorials. I just craft. And then I wrap it back to the back. And then I pull it really tight. And then once I get that tight, I will tie it in a knot back here. And then you just kind of fluff out and rough out your edges. Oh, I kind of like this one. It turned out good. Yep, 
so now all it needs is some bling I, I've been cutting these off because um, these will probably just be glued or hot glued down so that is my take on the chopstick bow so now all we need is some bling I do have my hot glue gun ready over here and I got my little box of bling here so now we're just gonna find some little bling to go in the center here so we'll put this down a little bit of hot glue there and then just glue our bling there there we go guys voila we have a shabby chic bow isn't that pretty i hope you guys can see it okay i love these okay so now we're going to do is the rest of them let's see this one i did not you know i think i'll actually leave those strings there just in case you could leave the strings on the back in case you wanted to actually tie it onto something as opposed to um hot gluing it down or gluing it down whichever okay so now this bow we need something I don't have a whole lot over here to choose from let's see let's use this one of these oh yeah that'll be pretty um and i did leave a lot of the strings on here too guys because again i do like that look so we'll get us a little bit of hot glue there or a lot of bit whichever whichever works and then just put our bling there in the middle and give that just a minute to dry take hold there we go guys shabby sheep bow yay i love these okay so now we will do these three and then we'll move on to the next thing which is a flower which i have not done before so we will just see how that comes out so maybe oh yeah that's cute we could do that on this one so again we'll just get us some hot glue up in here and then place that on there cool I think these are really cute all right there we go another shabby chic bow all right so now we have this one this one definitely turned out a little funky but I think that's okay we can have a funky bow you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to put just a little bit of glue there. Kind of connect those two together right there. And then I think I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Now maybe this is going to look more like a flower instead of a bow, but anyway. Let's get some of those little frittlies out of there. Alright, so now we will pick out a piece of bling for this one. And I think that one will look cute. So then we'll just do a um, hot glue there and get that right there in the middle there we go another shabby sheet something cute I love these okay so that's the back this is the front okay all right so Let's see. Let's do maybe this one on here. That way, I think. Get 
have a clue on there. This one, this way. Oh, how cute. Alright, how cute are these guys? Chopstick. Chopstick bows. Look at how cute. And just like that, two, four, six, we have six. So, those can go in our stash for future projects. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, I'm going to try, guys. I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to try to make some flowers. Now, <coughs> you can do them with a base or you can do them without. Um, so, all I've done is got some smaller strips of muslin. Um tore it so we'd have that fray because I like that fray and then I just did a knot in the uh, at one end okay so since I want a base to actually go around I just grabbed the first piece of scrapbooking paper I may not use that much of and I've just got my scallop punch here and I'm just going to punch out a couple of those um, you can do the round ones if you want to make some small ones. So we will go ahead and do just a couple of round ones. Okay, so that'll be it with the punch. And again, this is just a base to glue to to help us out because I can't freestyle them. So what you do is you start out with the end where your knot is and just put a little bit of glue in the center and we are going to glue that knot right there in the center okay so now let me see if i can remember how to do this so we got our knot in the center and then what we want to do is we want to grab a hold of this string and we're going to twist and glue okay so the first one i'm going to twist to the right so i'm going to put a little bit of glue here and then i'm going to take this and twist it and just put it up against there and then the next one i'm going to put a little bit of glue and twist the opposite way so i'm going to twist it this way and then bring that up and you just keep going around and around and it's already way off centered so there's that twisting one way one time and then the other way the next time and again I've watched and I forgot who it was but it was a DIY video guys it wasn't a crafting video it was like a home decor video where I saw these and I don't remember who it was so for that I do apologize and then twist the other way and what we're actually going to end up making is a little rosette and again you can make them as okay so I see what I'm doing with that glue there that's a problem shoot that was hot so I do have it on a low temp so it really wasn't that bad but still okay a bit of glue there twist the opposite way and bring that in so see how it's making a little rosette I'm not sure how well you guys can see that but yeah it's making a little rosette There. Go that way. And a little bit of glue there. And now we will come this way.
and then you just keep going around and around like that until you get all the way around it or get it as big as you want it so you could do small rosettes um, or you could do keep going and do larger ones round and around she goes okay and I think I'm just about done with the size that I want this one and then you can just clip this paper down so we can just cut the paper down around it So that, guys, is what's supposed to be a little rosette. And then, like I said, we could just cut our paper around it so it's not sticking out. It, it probably would have been fine not to have to cut it if I had got it centered, but I did not get it centered. Surprise, surprise. There we go. So now there's a little rosette that we could put on some projects. And then you have that little back that may make it um, a little bit easier to glue it down maybe. Of course, you know, it's not going to be hard anyway. But, yep. So there's our little flower. Okay, so let's try to do one on the round one here. Oh. See, I didn't use all that, so I about messed up. So again, on one end, just tie it. Go all the way as close to the end as you can get it. And then that's going to go in the middle. somewhere in the middle of your little base if you're using a base if not you could just hold it and start gluing okay so a little bit of glue here and twist and then just turn that up beside that one that little tail back and then again get you a little bit of glue up in there I think I just put it on my finger and then go the other way and we're just again going to keep going all the way around until we get it the size that we want it back the other way it's eerily quiet in here today guys which normally I have like you know the volume up on the TV don't have that today Yeah, not great at these guys, but they look so cute, and I just thought they would be really fun to do a couple of these. Again, you can use them on covers in junk journals or DIY decor, because like I said, that is where I actually saw this at. But I do like how that frayed look makes these look. Okay. 
Alright, this one's gonna look kind of funny. I think so far the other one's better. Just about done with this one, I guess. Something like glue here. And went back around that way. And that will probably cut that off. I need to learn how to have like more control with my hot glue gun. Y'all know me and the hot glue gun don't get along, so yeah. Fray is sticking out. Some more glue there, and then go that way. I'm impatient. I'm not giving it time to adhere good. But yeah, these are really pretty little rosettes here. Alright, just about done. There we go. So that little piece there, we will just cut some of that off. And again, there is another shabby chic rosette. So I know that was a terrible, <laughs> terrible guys. But yeah, those are fun. I will probably sit here and go ahead and make a couple more of these. You can put some bling in the middle. You can use any kind of material so you could do or fabric you can use floral fabric which actually would look very very pretty now I have hot glue everywhere on my nail Let's see if we can get some of that off um, but yeah any kind of material that you want and again you can take some bling and put it in the middle if you wanted that would look kinda cute so yeah you could do that as well all right guys so that is our um shabby chic flower move that out of the way and our shabby chic bows that we got done really love these bows they're so pretty so pretty all right guys thank you all so much for joining me today i really do appreciate it if you don't mind please hit that like button and leave me a super quick comment i would really appreciate it it is a great way that you can support my channel i love you guys and we'll see you next time bye bye